Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles. I'm a 23 year old full time Amazon online arbitrage seller. I did about 300k in sales in August, which I'm super excited about. As well as in this video, we're going to talk with my student Tona, who did over 50k in sales in August after starting with me as a beginner that had a lot of capital in June. So he got going, learned the basics, and now he's able to been able to get going and achieve some scale, which is pretty awesome. Check out a free trial of Selleramp, as well as make sure you check out our podcast as well, the Buy Box Bands. We've been pumping out a lot of episodes. We have almost 80. It's been running for almost a year, and things. It's a fun way to document our business growth on Amazon, talk with a bunch of cool Amazon sellers. As well, if you want to work with me in the same capacity Tona did, you can apply in the link in the description and the pinned comment. Let's get right into the interview. What up, Tona? Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, so we're coming up on, it'll be three months, probably like September 7th or 10th or something that we've been working together on stuff and everything. So gave me a good update yesterday, but give the update for the people August month to date. Um, August month to date. To date, it is about four fifty four thousand. It's a um, nice like between eight and eleven k profit. That's not bad. You can keep that and definitely keep growing it as uh, as well and everything like that. But how is that trended month over month? Uh, month over month. Well, the first month was June, which was about only like two weeks of my inventory actually. Yeah, because you just got young. It was just like getting used to the platform and. Just getting used to everything altogether. And I did about 5K in sales. Um, yeah. And then July is when I started kind of getting some, getting a feeling for how it works and like starting to be a little more aggressive with my purchases. And I did about 30K in sales for July. Yep. But now I can kind of see that growth and that confidence going up. And that's the big thing too, is you have to go through that initial process that we all went through. Like, okay, like, does this work? All right, so I'm going to buy 10 of these and five of these. Okay, these small quantities sold. Would big quantities sell? And you, you gradually build it out over time because you build that confidence, and that skill. Like I, I say, right, to people that are, you know, interested in whatever, it's right. You need the skill of buying stuff, the confidence to buy them, and the systems to fulfill them is basically what that uh, that all provides and everything. And you're still in, uh, doing all prep yourself, right, in, uh, in Jersey? Yes, yes. Right but I do, I do want to look towards getting a prep center because I am in school and that starts back uh, in about a week. So. Cool. Yes, yeah, so you get that, uh, get that outsourced, and you're clearly buying effectively to this point where you know stuff's selling and you can, you know, afford that. And especially yes. uh, depending on ASP and everything. So, what do you think uh, things look like from a volume, and even just if the business is going to change around the next three months or so, three, four, five months? You think anything or just business? I, well, as I do see that like that growth. Like just looking at the chart and seeing it go up, uh, I don't want to like slack off. So I know Q4 is coming up and I know from what everybody said that it's like, it, you're going to see a lot more sales if you like put in the work and start taking advantage of the seasonal stuff and just the holiday stuff. Um, so I think it's just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep kind of feeding the beast, like you say, and hopefully you can do just as much in sales while I'm in school, but so I'm just going to take it a day at a time, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it is a living and breathing organism that you must feed to grow it. So you got to you got to give send Jeff, uh, send Jeff good inventory always on everything like that. So mainly shoes, clothing, apparel, right? Yeah, pretty much a lot. Of, I would say a lot of it's shoes right now. But I do want to get and like kind of expand my ASIN list. I've been like kind of looking towards newer sites um, and starting to. Uh, source that and just see if I can find other stuff in other categories because I'm kind of ungated in everything now so now I can kind of expand a little bit so it's we'll crazy the that. way yeah I was uh, like my first two years no one knew how to do on gating like oh way didn't exist as we know it today and everything and now right the problem is people who were around back then some of them still don't know or still don't believe it i'll be like yeah did you just order from east fair or whatever yeah, and they're like i get a lot really of work? Uh, yeah like i would just lie to them like that but either way it's hard it's really for people who were around back then or even tried it back then it's yeah. it's difficult to conceptualize that it's so easy but it is um and everything so if you're watching this ee distribution or Kohl's for toys um east bay for any of the shoe clothing brands you can find a bunch carried on there and then frontier co-op for beauty and grocery there's a ton of auto on gates too um on stuff but I, in my opinion there's a list out there somewhere yeah and you've modeled this as well and that staying focused on a specific niche helps you really build within it in my opinion mm -hmm. too that's yeah. what i've uh really done um and everything like that and so talk about your prior reselling experience and how that translates or hasn't translated to amazon because a lot of people watching this have similar experiences in in reselling 
Yes. So I used to do shoe bobbing. So I have a big background in reselling shoes and just kind of being able to see a product and be like, hey, this is a good price or this is a great price with discounts and just seeing what would move fast. And then it's a little different because Amazon has different types of shoes that move fast. It's not like the reselling world where it's like Travis Scott's and all hype shoes like that. But I do have a background on buying stuff. I do have a huge advantage because of my credit limit from doing all of that. So I already had the Amex business. I already had all of that. I already had the LLCs done. So I kind of had a little bit of a head start compared to someone who might be thinking of getting into Amazon now. But besides, yeah. Yeah. Well, everyone has some type of, or most people have some type of hobby they're interested in, whether it's like collecting toys or like collecting mm -hmm. sports cards, or some women are super into makeup and stuff like that. You have, you probably have an eye for something yeah. on stuff. You and I have always had it for shoes, right? Because that's what we did well shoes, prior to Shoes, cards, yeah. Apparel, everything. Yeah. And in general too, just like once you see more and more what sells well on Amazon, you start seeing it in real life too. Like, and you start thinking, wow, I wonder if that, uh, that guy, random stuff everywhere exactly. doing it, yeah. yeah, the curiosity part, that's a good point. The curiosity part, right? Thinking what would sell well and everything. And the nice part is after a few months of living and breathing it, you build that eye in that it makes it easier. And that I talk all about mm -hmm. at the start, reverse sourcing makes a lot of sense because you don't, it's really hard to miss stuff. You know, if someone's selling it, they're doing it to get to uh, make money on it right anyone watching get a seller and free trial if you haven't already on uh, on that right but you you yeah. don't have that eye for stuff and then eventually you can manual source on websites too. labor day sales are uh, tomorrow and probably going on right now when you guys are seeing this yeah. as uh, as well so it's a good opportunity to really get into it and everything like that what was some beginner advice if you could give some to yourself that was just getting going or like someone watching this who's just looking to get into it? what would some things um, that would be valuable trust yourself when you're buying stuff don't be like too hesitant because there is some things that i did buy that i'm like oh this is great if you trust the keeper and you see a steady streamlined like chart and you can find a product with a great discount go ahead and buy it now if you're a weekend and you're a little hesitant and your cat your credit limit's a little lower maybe wide net yeah why maybe, wide maybe do a, a test buy first but once you start getting some experience don't be afraid to put a big purchase in. Like I remember I got one ace and I only got like a hundred of them and the site actually called me and they're like, yeah, you can't order this many because it's like screwing up their, I guess they're pulling it from different stores. So they're uh. like, you have to do a minimum of 20, but they said I could they, like their supply chain manager called me and he said, you can order, just order 20 of each. So I was like, okay, I'll just spam five orders. And then I'm already out of them and it's been like less than a month and I could have probably got like 500 of them. You got to so go do it then. Once yeah, you, you have the experience, go. I think that's like something a lot of maybe two, three months in people have is maybe just not being a little aggressive with their purchases. Um, and another big thing, I already had this happen twice because I was just, I think I was getting too aggressive and I didn't look at the um, listing well. I had to do two removal orders, which sucks but it's part of the game um i just ordered something too fast and when i sent it out i didn't check the product and i actually got sent the wrong product and i had like two returns saying wrong shoe and i'm like oh that's weird so then i still had one that arrived late that i never send in and it was a totally different color so just uh. make sure you check stuff check the like skews check the check one of them at least just make sure the skews are the same um, now that obviously wasn't my fault. The store probably just screwed up, but yeah, it is, it is on you. It's yeah, just, exactly. Don't just, don't just like willy nilly, just like send everything out without like looking at one of them to make sure, or just doubling back on the listing to see if it tanked or not. Cause then you can always just return. So just yeah, a little yeah. bit of advice. That Your way. risk is hedged too, especially when you're new. And I got like a new quote around this stuff too. I'd say the difference between like someone doing zero and like 10 K a month is a big knowledge gap but the difference is between mm -hmm. someone at 10 and someone at 30 or uh, 20 to 50 it's it's a confidence thing it's buying more of good stuff as long as you're as profitable mm -hmm. as you want to be on a, on different stuff and everything and that's what's really made the difference for you and i has been casting that initial wide net first getting data on muscle memory and then buying heavy of that stuff to make it move forward and everything and the, the only way to you know get through that that point is to really just go through yourself and see that progress being made which takes months 
You know, yeah. we like we first talked probably 90 days ago at this point, 80, 90 days ago on uh, on this stuff. And it takes a while to get good at it as it should. That's why so many people quit. And those of us who stick around and get through that initial learning curve, it's it's easy to find success. And I'm sure you're excited about the, the next few months, Q4-wise yes. and everything. Yeah. Got a lot of a lot of good stuff to get after on that. If uh, capital pending, what do you think you could do in December? We'll start. This um, is getting – it's coded on the internet forever. Calling a uh, shot here. Well, like I, I have so many credit cards, so I have a pretty big limit. Um, capital I'd say – one Capital One has me at like 60k limit, but oh I'm gosh. more worried of stuff selling. Well, exactly. Yeah, you want to scale up and then not being able to pay it back. But I yeah. do have an Amex, which is zero APR, 25k. Oh, limit. the blue, uh, blue business blue cash. cash. Yeah. Um, if you want a referral, come to one Hit of us. Yeah, Tone FBA facts. facts. <laughs> um, and my Amex business is new. It, it just says no preset limit. It's just yeah. But I've been spending so much on that from like botting and stuff. So uh, I probably could run it up to like 50 to 75K. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like it could definitely 100% increase from now to then. And they gave me, yeah. And they gave me actually a, I guess they called me or emailed me and they're like, hey, do you want a 3% APR on your gold card? And I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> so nice I have time. it for yeah, the next time. year. And then, so primarily I'm using Amex because those, is, is, those two cards are 0% and a 3% APR. But yeah. I do throw in the Capital One because it's off by a couple days. Unfortunately, most of my cards land on like the 14th to the 17th. So I don't have that like gap. Change it. Change about. one of them. Yeah. Hit up Capital Ooh, One and change it. it. Yes. All right, or, well, it, I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask, but I've, I've heard from other people that. Okay. Change. Maybe I'll call and change. Because yeah. I have one card with like a 40K limit and I would love to have that on like the first. 28th now, or the first. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or the 28th or 29th, something like yeah. that. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. For anyone who's who doesn't, that's like kind of a, a topic for another day. But mm -hmm. you can get really like detailed about your credit card statement and payment due dates. Obviously, using credit adds risk and everything. That's something I've per, you know personally done and had you know success with and everything like that. But if you get really detailed about your statement and payment due dates, you can get really tactical about spending money and then having forty or fifty days to pay it back on a on different stuff like that as well and i know you're not a huge social media guy but you got the tona fba page yeah. we get some bars every once in a while we get some box pictures once in a while you guys see the thumbnail we got a good flick on uh on there and everything like that but yeah has the community been helpful for you as well yeah yeah i think also going back on your last question like a beginner advice uh networking is probably the number one thing i would go back on and change my mind on that question because i've probably talked to maybe like five to ten people and i joined one group chat through your um group and just the people in there and just the advice people give you like the other day like i just had a return and someone's like oh safety clan like and i'm like i don't even know what this is and then i just look at it and research the link and then like i have my answer right there and it's just like that's just one small example but like people out there if you just contact them and help them out and be like hey i'm confused on this keepa and send them a just the example of it or just a link and you can even give them the ASIN and be like hey can you help me out what's your advice on this and I've had people say like oh this is a great buy here's also a lead uh, since you gave me this and I'm like okay that's great yeah so. the knowledge compounds right and it's social media for a reason social meet yeah. people different stuff like that I always recommend that because that part's free man it's completely free to build yourself a little online resume that shows mm -hmm. you're in the trenches that shows you're sending boxing that shows you're getting your first initial sales and everything that then is leverage for you when you DM me or you DM Mike here with a question or something else like that we can see that you're putting in the work it's a beautiful thing on that but yeah any uh, anything else for the people here looking to get going or either scale up heavily the way you have the past three months don't wait just if you're, if you're thinking about it, I mean, it's not that much money. I would say have a couple thousand if you are. are oh, definitely. It. Yeah. Um, I know. I know a lot of people out there say like, oh, you could do it 500,000. But I think you need a, maybe one to two thousand bucks yeah. to do it on your own. If you want to do um, consulting and other stuff, there's a lot of people that do that, such yeah. as you and other people. Um if you have a little bit more capital, obviously, and yeah, you want, and you some, like, the, you want some like hand fed advice. That's also great. Don't think that's wrong at all. It's like, it will help you scale a lot more than you ever would think. Yeah. Um, but network, start asking people, start asking them like, Oh, how'd you get started? Blah, 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 blah. All that. You're not going to go anywhere unless you try it. And 
I was a little hesitant and I remember I followed you and I was like, eh, this looks like very difficult or just like a hard platform to get used to. And then I was waited two months and then I kept seeing your tweets again. I'm like, okay, I'm going to DM you. And then I just started and I, like, yeah, good things happen. Yeah, 90 yeah. total sales pretty much. Yeah, so, going to be well beyond that, you know, six so, months from now, 12 months. Yeah, hoping for long maybe long. 750, 12 months from now, but we'll see. Oh, I think more. Maybe I mean, maybe. just depends. We'll it's just repeating successful actions. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you'll see when, so, stu I'm when stuff's be, selling. I'm going to be bad. a little bit of a beginner. No, you're good. I'm going to be a little bit of a beginner in quarter four. So I'm going to be doing all the voice calls. I'm going to be doing everything. So, yeah, when stuff's experienced the whole 12 months. Stuff selling for thirty percent more, and you're buying it for fifteen percent less on Black Friday. It gets a little crazy on yeah. stuff, but yeah, guys, go follow uh, Mike here, Tona FBA. We'll have it tagged below as well. You guys see it right out, uh, right next to me, right there, right there, and everything. Uh, if you're interested, feel free to check out the link in terms of applying for the coach program and everything. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.